Um, you know, in, in, in your last segment, you, you took Taser International to task, um, implying um, a lot of wrongdoing on their part. Uh, on, on numerous numerous points. No, we're not and implying. Ask, it's, it's clear no, that CBS actually exposed well, them for a lot of these actions. Well, they 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 enumerated, enumerated what they how they operated. Okay, but there is absolutely no proof that any of it is by any means wrongdoing. They are a free enterprise business. They're Can you give, to before you go on, Alan? I'd like Virgil to give one example of something Taser has uh, done allegedly or supposedly proven now, uh, just to you know, refresh our listeners who might just be tuning in. So. Well, well, the best example is the of the police chief, and I believe he was the Albuquerque police chief, where he actually, as soon as he closed the sale, he, he gave a no-bid contract you know, to uh, to Taser. I think it was a $1.9 million contract. Are you okay with, with that, Alan, a no-bid contract? Um, well, you know what? If if the people if it was a it was a mutual agreement between the salesman who happened to be a previous police chief someplace, and and an, and an entity that that entered into agreement with him without coercion, there's nothing illegal about that. I'm not at, that didn't answer my question. What I asked you was, are you against these no bid contracts? I understand that it's legal to have a no bid contract. I'm asking you, Alan, how you feel about it. Well, it depends on whether or not there are other people in the market who are competitive with the product that's being offered. Are there other okay. competitors, I, Virgil, the, besides Taser? I'm pretty sure that a GoPro camera that uh, costs $300 at Walmart or Target is better than a Taser-made camera. Yeah, so there are other competitors in the marketplace, well, that, and they weren't given a chance to even bid on that. I mean, that's good old boy cronyism, isn't it? You support that? Well, I don't know if that, I don't know if that is an are, are you are you opposed to free enterprise? Free enterprise isn't a no bid <laughs> contract. Where do you live? And this is I mean, not this is, this is like some kind of cronyism <laughs> in India or something like that. No. I am know, for free enterprise. You, I am against no bid contracts. <laughs> you absolutely have no idea whether or not their product is superior or inferior to anything that's but when you do How it, would we know exactly. since there's no competition, sir? <laughs> Well, you see, that's how in a free marketplace, you see, free marketplaces have competition so that we find out if products are superior or not. In an area where you have no bid contracts, you'll never find out what's better. Uh, well, maybe maybe to your satisfaction, but maybe the people who are <laughs> To the satisfaction of the people who are being taxed, you said that there was no coercion here. Making the purchase can make that decision for themselves. No, they cannot, because they're taking my you tax know, money you know, at the threat of my home. You said there was no coercion, and I will remind you that they will kick me and my family out on the street if I don't pay property taxes. To suggest that this money belongs to the police chief is just the kind of boot licking that takes this country into fascism. <laughs> What the heck does that have to do with buying cameras? <laughs> the cameras are bought with tax money. Do I have to take you all the way down the primrose Apparently path? Apparently you do, Mark. <laughs> so, so You're a damn lunatic. You know that? You're I'm, a damn lunatic. Okay, what's lunatic about my point? What's crazy about wanting the bids wanting on a contract? He hung up. Yeah. What's crazy about wanting bids on a contract? Nothing I mean, when you're a police, I, obviously a police chief or a person who works for Taser. I have never heard anyone defend no right. bid contracts before. <laughs> well, he's acting as if the money, this $1.9 million, belongs to the police chief himself. And that would be okay if yes. this is money. But it's not. Yeah, no, That's it's, the problem. It's taxpayer dollars. And sort of one of the, the basic things that a government should do to try to at least appear legitimate. Right. Like, like on the show, we know that governments are not legitimate. They're, you know, gangs of men and women who will force their way upon people, whether they like it or not. And they'll use the threat and actual violence to uh, the threat of or actual violence to get their way. I mean, we understand that. But governments is very important to them. At least it should be important to them to put on this auspice of fairness and you know to make it appear as though they've done some level of due diligence with the, the people's yep. money that they've taken by threat of and, force and to suggest that sending these police chiefs on luxury cruises and and uh, hiring them as consultants immediately after they sign a contract and when they retire to suggest there's no no connection between these events it, it's it's silly come on you mean a contract that just happens to have been a police chief in the past right. giving another con uh, giving a, a customer <laughs> who is a police chief a trip to can Coon is somehow uh, uh, not the free market. Complete an coincidence. Contract? It just happened. It, it's, it's ridiculous. Just happened. Yeah. yeah, I've never it's heard. Crazy. I've never heard anybody take the side of a, a, a no bid contract being handed it's out. It's not just government. a no bid contract. It'd be one thing if it was a no bid contract, but it's so much more than that. Yep. By this. Yeah, Mark's face was very red. So you guys, well, yes, I couldn't believe the man. I had to turn the webcam around. Yep, uh, I noticed to that. Mark.